ladies and gentlemen silent trade back once again um today we are looking at uh, btc usd um i was a bit late uh, i could not trade it but i was hoping that it will shoot very fast i was a bit late but very soon i will drop a video showing uh, how to trade btc usd uh, the entry was supposed to be here so i found it when it's uh, already gone so anyway we shall catch another chance uh, today i'm going to reveal uh, some of you have been requesting for the settings of this strategy uh, of the moving average uh, 1 to 20 to 2 uh, it's 17 rather and uh, moving average 200 as well um we are going to review the settings very soon um but of course i want to emphasize for those that keep trading a uh, small time frame that you're doing it wrongly it is good to follow the bigger time frame always uh, reason being when you look at when we zoom in and you look at uh, this over here it is something that can give you energy to enter the trade because this is called bullish angle thing bullish angle thing this one it's called bullish angle thing then the bigger candle over here this one this one is called bull close uh, let me try to, to, to point it this one so it's called bull close so you can enter the trade with confidence once you look at such um bars of prices then you place your entry i've i've said the entry was a bit i've come a bit late so i could not catch it up but i was i was hoping that it is going to shoot oh i was confident only that i was away so anyhow let's look at the settings for now um let's open up indicators so uh the main chart has got fractals as we can see over here let's go back a bit the main chart has got fractals and we have got a relative strength index here so what you see here it comes from up to down up to here moving average uh, from 1 to 17 they're all the same they have the same settings only what you have to do you have to change the color they all have the same settings except one moving average the last one this one is quite different from the rest this one is a moving average 200 shift zero method exponential apply to close style four pixel color of your choice voila you're done so let's start with fractal main chart what you do you place the main chart 
or fractal. Uh, the importance of fractals, they help us uh, to see resistance and support areas or zones. So you can identify them very easy, very fast. They have no settings, it's on default. So you only have to change it for then black default for pixels then black those are the fractals the ones you see over here these are the ones and you can simply see that they are on resistance they have given us a resistance over here they have made a support and resistance on these two lines giving us our buy entry so they have formed support here We have made a resistance here. So we are still looking at the fractals here and there. So it's a work of the fractals, as you can see when I zoom in, those ones in black. They are the ones that are called factors and they help us to identify those zones of resistance and support so that you can make clear entries so let's go back and look at uh, uh, you place the indicators then we go to indicator window one so when we look at indicator window one what do you do you start with relative strength index still all these we are applying them on indicator window one So a relative strength index is 1000, apply to close, style 1 pixel, then the levels 80, 85, 90, 5, 10, 15, those are the levels, uh, we don't have any description, it's not necessary, um, style 4 pixel, color of your choice when relative strength index is done so we're going to look at um, our first moving average over here uh, still on indicator window one period one shift zero method exponential applied to close uh, slash lcc slash four yeah style for pixel apply it to any color of your choice uh, now we're heading to indicator window 2 so as you can see these are all the same settings the same settings only here what you have to do you change colors you change period you change only two things you change this and this as simple as that three pixels color of your choice then period two we place done then moving average three
so we have finished all this so three now you can see three it's five it's supposed to be three yeah three the same settings color of your choice you place done you change only that and the settings are, are, are the same you place done so these settings are all the same what do you do you only change color I'm repeating it again you only change color so what do you do now here period is one here period is two here period is three here period is four here period is five period six seven let's go slowly up to there eight nine ten eleven period twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen Seventeen, eighteen. The last eighteen period. Uh, what you shall do is simple. Place it. It's period two hundred. Shift zero. Method exponential. Apply to close. It's quite different. I'm repeating it again. Um, the last. The last the 18 moving average period is 200 shift 0 method exponential apply to close style for pixel color of your choice so the last 18 moving average is different from the rest the last is different from the rest then voila you are good to go once you are done you are good to go those are the settings of our moving average as you can see um if someone has made an entry here i've already made analysis on it and i was planning to make an entry but uh it, uh the price was strong and I could not catch up with it so I think next time today I'm not as early but next time I will this trade was meant to be mine but anyway we have more chances bye for now have a nice week trading trade confidently